Oliver, ask you, I can tell you one thing I know for sure. You're at the bottom rung of the Mazda Road to Indy, but I've heard more IndyCar team owners talking about you than anyone else in the ladder. Tell me about earning your first championship here to move up. Unbelievable. Um, th I, I've dreamt about this moment for, for so long, to win my first... This is my first season in car racing, so to, to win it right off the bat um, just goes to show how many, how many great people I have around me. To, to That's helped my, my learning curve. I've learned so much this season, and I look forward to, to carrying that uh, through the ranks, and, and I'm looking forward to having a long relationship with Mazda Racing and, and Cape Motorsports, uh, Rising Star Racing, every, everybody who supports me, Team USA Scholarship. It's an unbelievable group of people and so many people that have, that have helped me um, in the karting ranks also to make me the person I am today and the person I am, the driver I'm, I am on the track, and it's just so cool. John Doonan, some nice hardware you have in your uh, right hand there. Not only is that going to Oliver, there's also somewhere he's going next year, thanks to you at Mazda and your associate Kyle Kimball. Tell us a story about how you guys found this kid and where he's going courtesy of Mazda. Well, I think for all of us at Mazda, the Mazda Road to Indy has done exactly what we planned all these years. But for this story today, it really is full circle in less than a year. Jim Bowie, Jade Gers, Kyle Kimball, and our staff of professional drivers, the Bomberitos of the world, the Spencer Pickett's, the Andrew Carbonells, the Joel Millers, they managed a shootout at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca last fall. Nearly 20 drivers from nine different countries came together to win the scholarship to even get here in the first place. So this is full circle for us. And on behalf of all of us at Mazda, Oliver, uh, we're presenting you with this trophy, but we're also presenting you with a scholarship to go on to the Pro Mazda Championship in 2018. We couldn't be more pleased for you, your family, and everybody involved. This is a special moment for you. you got to enjoy it and savor it, but it's going to be getting to work again uh, for the PM18 here very, very soon. Oliver, it looks like John's arm's about to break, so why don't you take that? That, yeah, Look, you want it. That's yours to carry, son. It's not light. Uh, last question for you. Tell me about this. In such a short amount of time of racing cars, you're already going to be at the mid-tier, the road to Indy. Indy car is not that far away, but tell me about this graduation prize, what it means. Two, two prizes in a row for Mazda. Yeah, I've... Uh if it wasn't for Mazda, John Doonan, Kyle Kimball, all these people, to, I wouldn't be racing, period. I, I, I can't stress that enough. Like, I, I'd be working at Jimmy John's or something. Like, I wouldn't be racing, period. So this is unbelievable. Um, I'm looking forward to many, many years uh, working with Mazda Racing. It's just super, super cool. Um, I can't wait to drive the new PM18. It uh, looks like a really fun car to drive, and um, I'm looking forward to to uh, working on that championship also, just winning races, and it'll be great. Well, the news from Oliver Askew, the world is going to lose a sandwich artist thanks to Mazda, but the IndyCar series might be receiving a young talent in a couple years. Kyle, just tell me about the pride of seeing this opportunity turned into maximum capability. When we first put together the Mazaro Dandy shootout, the idea came together. Uh, we knew we had something special, but we really didn't know how special it was until we had almost 20 drivers from the nine countries show up. And when they took to the track, it, it really blew our minds. And, uh, and Oliver separated himself from the pack. And when we crowned him the champion, we knew we had something special. And it's clearly evidenced by him coming in the first year winning the championship in USF 2000 and we cannot wait to see what he does next year in Pro Mazda.